out of the night that covers me. Beyond this place of wrath and tears, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. Fellow game players, welcome to The Captain. It's the second edition to the demo that I played a while back, and from the looks of it, considerable improvements have been made. I'm really keen to see what's going on here because, wow, that looks good. Let's go. In the year 3200, space is truly conquered and becomes a common place for man and woman. Throughout the years to come, Humans initiated peaceful contact with many of the surrounding species. Men rejoice and a space fleet is founded. On Earth, a husband and father of two is still unaware that his life is about to take a turn for the worse. His background as a space fleet scientist and a trained shuttle pilot makes Captain Wormu the perfect choice for the uncomplicated mission to Mars to examine an anomaly there. The mission goes as planned at first. Arriving at Mars, Wormu starts probing the strange and unexpected phenomenon. When suddenly, swoop! <coughs> what happened? Ship! Cut on my head! Ship, respond! Great, no power. A fuse must have blown. Better get back there and fix this. Right. Okay. Click anywhere in the world to view and walk there. Drag to pan the camera and click anywhere to drag the world and pan the camera. Yep, got that. Ooh, got a torch, how nice. Right, uh, fuse box. Uh, where do I go for that? These are the action icons that you will interact with the points of interest. Look, take, listen, and talk. It's similar then pretty much to uh, the original demo that I played, so... Ah. Service droid panel. Okay. Repair access. You currently don't have the, la the latest service droid update installed. Please contact your service node for whatever. Open. Okay, I'm guessing then I have to use the elevator. This will not work without power. I must find a way to the fuse box. Oh, okay, fine. Small hatch. There we go. Use it. Right. Where am I? My ship is quite small. Ah, here we go. A nice great big lever. There we go. Oh, jeez. That's my computer. The How 9000 look-alike. It's always this guy, isn't it? Are you are you the are you are you okay there, Shippy? Are you done? Good morning, Ship. Are you done? At the moment, I have instant dislike of him. Are you done? With what? The fancy recollection stuff or your nap? Your nap? Are you done with your nap? Yes. Sorry about that. It's a bit embarrassing. However, the last thing I detected was a suction from the anomaly. It doesn't mean suction. No K. Oh, really? And you're, you and anomalies. Sir, I am getting some really unexpected readings here. You better get down to the cockpit. On my way. To the cockpit. Ah, oh, swerve along. All right. Everything should work now. Uh, bridge. Right. Ship report. Captain, with the res reservation that my senses may be malfunctioning, something really unexpected has occurred. What is it? What's happened? We are no longer orbiting Mars. No? No. 
We are currently occupying space coordinate 1292545 in the Beta Quadrant. Beta Quadrant? I sense a Star Trek influence! Yes, Beta Quadrant. This anomaly must be Franklin's wormhole. With the risk of starting to sound nonchal, Franklin's wormhole? Yes, Franklin's wormhole. The theory constructed the year 2240 by George T. Franklin. It describes how an anomaly similar to ours could be transformed and act as a wormhole in the right circumstances. It was never proven, though. He never succeeded in getting a proper scan of a stable one. Well, I guess it's proven now. I'm detecting a massive energy buildup from the anomaly. If you want to try to return through it, we should go through as soon as possible. Ship! Take us in! Too late. The anomaly has disappeared. Oh, damn blast in hell! At maximum speed, I calculate it'll take you 43 years, 2 months, and 7 days to get back home. That is, if you had the fuel for it. Which you don't. Ah, so it's just me now, not us. Remember that it would take you just as long, ship. Sorry, sir, but I assume the issue of defining one home to be less flexible for you. I am perfectly fine with calling this piece of space my home. Yeah, really cozy. One thing, though. My family! I have a family back on Earth. We need to fix this. Then maybe this will be a welcome news flash. My long-range scanners just picked up our anomaly. It didn't exactly disappear, it just moved. Let's head over there now, and get back home. We were supposed to fill up on fuel over at Mars Colony for your return trip home, and we didn't. Right you are, Captain. I have scanned the nearby systems, though. I have detected a small rock-like planet we can reach that looks suitable for harvesting. Check your star map and head over there. Oh dear, I got an inventory. And no dollars at all. Alright, ooh. Okay. Nice undies. Ship! Okay, I got 80 fuel. Weight is 130 and top speed is 50. And I can upgrade and get crew? Cool. Alright, star map. Let's have a look. Uh, I'm guessing it's this one. Okay, this looks pretty big. Uh, this may take more than a video. Ah, my demo goal. Right, can I go there straight away? Well, yeah, I suppose I could. I just need to get enough fuel. 115 days? That's a bit long. Oh, no, there's more plants down here. Alright. I'm told that there's side quests as well. I think these must be the ones here because there are people here. Right. Gold, sparse, fuel plentiful. Alright, let's go here. Fuel 71, I've just got enough. Engage. 18 days? Ah, I can skip ahead if I want. I kind of feel that it shouldn't really be days. That's a really long time. 18 days later. What did I do during this time? And I've arrived. Captain? Yes, ship? We have a problem with the shuttle. I've decided that he is critically low on oil. You need to take care of that before you can land and begin harvest. Where can I find oil? Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe the food dispenser can get you something similar. I shall try that. I shall get you some olive oil. How about that? Ah, food dispenser. Right. That's this thing here, isn't it? Yep. Okay. That thing's still flashing. Why is that? Alright. Let's have a look at this. A regular food dispenser. It can make food and beverages for the crew. Crew? It's just me. I hate these things. The scanning of your health and only providing what you need. Oh, no donut. Food dispenser. Oh dear, everything seems to talk. Yes, Captain. Uh, can you make me some oil? Well, I'm currently programmed just to give people what they need. So if your body needs oil, you will get oil. Okay, maybe some food then. Of course! Can you produce any known food? That's the most expensive thing on the menu. I'm, I've got no dollars whatsoever, so that, that's pointless. Alright, can you produce any known food? I certainly can. Anything officially recorded in the known universe. Ooh, a 
large stick with mashed potatoes, peas and gravy. Oh dear. Ooh, oh, someone give me a towel. Okay. Can you give me whatever is considered the best tasting in the whole universe? Just give me some nutrients. All right, uh, what's the best tasting in the whole universe? Go on and let's have a look. And we'll now try. I just need to scan your body to determine what you need right now. Hold on. Producing order. I've got my own replicator, how nice. What is this? It's just what your body needs right now. So out of all the things you can cook up, this is the best you can do. I suppose a protein base with vitamins and minerals is what your body needs right now. Great. Thanks. What's a bit pointless? What's the point of ordering if it just gives you... Yeah, that. What is this? It's what my body needs, I guess. It looks awful. Oily protein goo. Space fleet food. It's oily. That's all that matters. I'll take it. Right. If I want to use an item in the inventory, drag it... Uh, from outside the window and over to my point of interest. Or drag over another item to combine. Sweet! Ah. Cargo. Here we go. LPV. This is the door of the landing pod vehicle. Ah, okay, fine. I call it shuttle. Short and simple. Oh, another one. Uh, Captain, what are you doing here? You haven't said any landing quarters yet. Ah, ship told me you need some oil. There we go. Damn right! I need something to lubricate my pistons. I need some leaven, baby. You. Do you have some leaven for me, Papa? What? Well, I don't see the reason for you to talk to me like this. You tried to be shoved away in a dirty storage room for months on end, you dimwit. How come the ship is so nice to talk to, and you just like a sour apple? Superior design. You were him. Go figure it out, numbnut. If you have something to oil me up with, just shove it to my hatch here next to the door. Ah, oh, right, okay, hang on. Uh, inventory. My goo. There you go. Ooh, yeah. Just give it to me, bitch. What? What? That's what I said. Oh, sorry. The this hatch is just a sensitive area for me. A very sensitive area, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Okay, can we go now? Oh. Oh, hang on. I think I, I gotta go to the cockpit. Hang on. Here we go. Ah, here we go. Contact or harvest. Ooh, is there anyone here? Uh, oh, hang on. Maybe. I'm going to take that as a no. Alright. Oh, hang on a minute. How much fuel do I need? Uh, well, these are side quests. I could just go straight there, I suppose, and complete the game, but I'm curious, so... Uh, uh, does this mean lots of gold? Hang on. That's strange. I can't seem to... Maybe I can only find out when I'm in orbit. Riser! Oh yeah, definitely. Alright, what do I need for this? 41 days! Jeez! 165 oil. Uh, fuel, sorry. Okay, uh... I should probably get double the amount then, so I can get back here just in case I'm stranded. Yeah, it doesn't... Yeah, it appears those two planets up here... Oh no, there's fuel here as well. Alright, I need, say... Just to be safe, 400 oil. Right. New harvest. You have landed on a rocky moon. This will be perfect for some harvesting. I prefer the word mining, personally. Ah, okay. That's how many tons I can get out of it. That's a long time. Whoa, I'm spending over a month. Um, was it 350? About that? Ish? Okay, we're going to be spending the next month mining. I don't know, I kind of feel like it shouldn't be days. I kind of feel like it should be hours. Because I just felt like I've wasted a month mining. Great. Uh, 
Ah, uh, th th there's, there's gold here as well. I think I should get some gold. I don't know if I need any, but let's be safe. Let's get three bits of gold. There we go. Right, return to the ship. Groovy, I spent a month digging. Okay, let's go down here to Riser. Yep, that's enough fuel. Let's go. 41 days. Incredible. Off to Riser. Hang on a minute. Let me check my cargo bay. I mean, is, is my cargo bay full of gold and fuel? Ah, oh, slight disappointment. Okay. 41 days later. And we are here. Oh, wait, what's this? Incoming communication. Guy or girl? Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to Riser Resort. How may I help you? I don't know if this is a guy or a girl, because it kind of looks like he's got a moustache and, and a beard. With the risk of sounding a bit off, but what is Riser? I am lost in space. I need to get back home. Uh, what is Riser? No problem. Riser is an all-inclusive vacation resort with full array of outdoor activities. It's also artificial. We have been operating with the aimed please for close to 200 years. Right now we have the famous Risa artifact on display. And this is... It's an ancient statue with enormous power. And scientists have yet to fully understand. If you haven't seen it yet, you just have to come down and visit us. It's on display from 22... Oh, 2200 hours local time tonight. Uh, okay, I guess I would like to visit. It's one of my side quests. Your first time, sir? Absolutely. Do you want my passport? Just let your landing shuttle track the destination reception beacon. Have a nice day. No ways, I'm lost in space. I'm sorry, so I can't really help you with that. Maybe you should head over to the local interstellar police department and report yourself as missing. Report myself missing? How does one do that? Yeah, that sounds logical. Okay, I have to go now. Alright then, I hope you decide to visit our beautiful planet. Bye for now! Oh, great. Well, I've been mining for 94 days. I sh Well, sort of. I guess I can go down there and have a nice time. Interplanetary police people. Is it these guys up here? Probably not. Alright. Go on, let's go down and let's have a look. Oh, here we go. Love the music. It's pink, I'll give you that. Touchdown! Smooth like a new shaved baby's bottom. Uh. Okay. What do I do now? Oh. I guess you don't. That's why I report the landing, and you don't. Whatever. You just wait here, shuttle. I'll be back in a jiff. Maybe we'll see. What? No, sir. I'll be here. Okay, good. Back in a bit then, shuttle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My vacation. That's not bad. Right. Oh, hello. Welcome to Riser, sir. Oh, even the text is pink. May I have your name, sir? Captain Wellmu, the great de Danton. Jean-Luc Kirk. Oh, now you're just taking the miss. Okay. Captain Wellmu, thank you very much. I'm proud of who I am. Very good. I'll park your shuttle now. No, please don't. Just take your name as you check out. 
and I'll get him for you. Him? Hey, 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 what are you doing? Oh, sorry. Just gonna slip you into the garbage. <laughs> I know, garage, yeah, fine. The hell you are! I stand where I land! Excuse me, sir, your shuttle is making a hassle. Kick in the bollocks. What's the problem, shuttle? Oh, hi, Cap! This rat thinks he can move me! Yeah, he's gonna put you with all the other shuttles and shuttlers. I stand where I land. I don't know, no freaking garage. That's not where I stand. Sorry, ship, but the other guests are waiting to land. You can go ahead, it's okay. Are you sure? Yeah, just let him intimidate you. Or be perverted. Hey, move that stick, puppet. I'll taste my wrath. I dare you, move it. Hey, hey! I figured that in the next thing I That's valet parking, huh? Do I tip him? I've got no dollars. Um, let's see. There's a person up there, person down there. Can I go down here? I can go down here. Oh, there we go. A new pod. A door. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. What's in here? Can I go in here? No, I don't think so. Okay. Ah, sign. It's a sign saying reception. It is pointing towards the big white stone building. Oh, look at those birds in the background. This is great! Ah. Hotel guests. A couple of green guys. Ah. Uh, where do I go? Oh, there we go. The artifact, the artifact tonight. So we're going to steal it. The artifact on display tonight. I don't have a timer, so I've got no idea. Let's talk to receptionist. Welcome to Riser, a place for peace and contemplation. I am Linda, your receptionist. How may I help you? Do you have any rooms available? Why would I want to check in? I don't get it. What is this artifact you are sharing? Ah, the artifact. Well, that sure is a sight to see. It's an ancient statue, said to have mystical powers. You can find more information in our pamphlet over by the entrance. There is an event on it tonight by the podium where we will show it. Okay, do you have any rooms available? I bet you only got just one left. Oh, none! Oh, we only have luxury bungalows at the highest standard. Okay then, do you have any luxury bungalows at the highest standard available? If you haven't made a reservation, I'm afraid the first available date is... Two months, that's about right. I can't check in then. Souvenir shop. Fireworks? Just like real quality Visor Resort firework rockets. Nice. Storekeep, let us talk. Welcome, sir, to the best souvenir shop in Visor Resort. The only one. How may I assist you? The best shop? Tough competition here? Sure. Why not? Okay, what do you have apart from rockets? Well, a simple, easy to answer with a question. What are you looking for, friend? Uh, well, I guess nothing right now. Um, no, I guess I'll be back later. Something tells me I've got to get some stuff from him. But first of all, let's grab a pamphlet. Ooh, the artifact. The artifact is an ancient stone statue, and its rumored mystical powers have captured the imagination of generations. Greenfingers are the indigenous people of Riser. Ah, it's them, okay. They believe the artifact must remain here on Riser, or total devastation will follow. There's a map of the island that's pretty big. The Nubians. Nubians came to Riser many centuries ago. Together with the fingers, they build what you see here today. If you are fortunate enough to visit us during any of the annual showings, we highly recommend you don't miss the chance. Sweet. Let's see what else we've got here. A bar. Hotel 2L's Guard. Excuse me, sir. You need to check it before you can enter. I think that's, that's all I can do here. 
I don't think there's anything else. Right. Can I go up here? I don't think I can go uh, past this point. Can I talk to these guys? Oh, I just saw a green guy go by. No, I don't think I can go any further. That's a shame. Well, there's nothing in here either. No, I don't think so. I think we, I think we best leave. Ooh! Listen to the conversation. <laughs> Welcome to Risa. Have you made a reservation? Of course. What is your name? P. Chakote. Chakote. Come. Keep calm. Keep calm. Thank you. I want to pack your shuttle. Okay, yes, yes. Follow the sign anyway. No way, I want to talk to you. Green guy. No. Oh, damn it. Okay. I don't think I can do anything else here. Why can't I watch the... I mean, what time is it? Alright then, let's talk to the souvenir guy. There's nothing else for me to do. Okay, uh... How about those stacking dolls? Sorry, don't have that. Oh, a riser key ring? Sorry, I don't have that. A pen? Sorry, I don't have that. A postcard? Don't have that. A bottle of sunscreen? Don't have that. Sunglasses? How about nothing? How about dust? You got any dust? Cigarette? No. Good. A radio. I see the list here goes quite endlessly. A bottle of water. Oh dear. A camera. No. A towel. No. Something beautiful. No. Any kind of container. Some sort of pool toy. Your head. This is a long shot, but some fireworks. Of course, here you go. Free of charge. Thank you very much. Welcome back. Free of charge? Why, thank you. Can I have more? Go on, give me more. I want more. Oh, sorry. I tried to pick you up. That's not something I want to do. Uh, no, I think that's it. It's a bunch of firework rockets. They need some type of launch cartridge to be fired safely. I got oh somehow I picked up three dollars. How'd I do that? Oh gold, of course. Right, that's very cheap gold. If I'm you know if I if I'm honest. Okay, let's go back to the ship. Hello again, sir. How may I help you? Yep, time to leave. Oh, the horror. Tss. Shut up, ship. Let's go. Okay. Right, we are going to need more fuel, unfortunately. It's a shame I couldn't see the artifact, but I don't have a timer, so that's pointless. Right. Let's go. I hate to imagine what would happen if I ran out of fuel. Right. Arrive. Okay, guys, I've just spent uh, quite a bit of time harvesting a lot of fuel, and it's now day 186. Let's go over to this place now, see what's over here. No idea, but we'll find out. What a weird looking planet. Look at how close that moon is. No rush. I really hope I'm not missing anything. Captain. Yes. I detected an emergency signal for the planet. Okay. I guess I should check that out. Actually, you have to check that out. According to space fleet regulations, emergency signals should always be investigated immediately. Yes, I know that ship. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's contact him first. See if we can get any communication. 
No? Damn. Alright. Do I have a gun? I got three dollars. There's a hostage situation. I oh, love the music. Oh yeah. Oh no, not another pink planet. Hello. This looks familiar. This looks... no, 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 this looks too familiar. Oh no. It sounded like something broke. No, nope, let a hitch. Smooth sailing all the way. I don't know, Shuttle. I'm pretty sure I heard a loud bang. A bang. Ha! Huh, not for me. You didn't. Is that the power coupling on the ground? I can see it's the hatch opening. What? Where? Oh, that! Oh, you, you can see that far. Yeah, well, of course I can see that far. It's right there on the ground. Oh, neat! Didn't know that. In that case, I stand corrected. All right, Shuttle. Why do you keep lying about these sort of things? I'm just trying to give you relevant information you can actually use. I'm pretty certain this is relevant information I can actually use. I'm doing the best I can here! So the power coupling outside the window... Was that the bang I heard? Yep! Oh, okay, great report there, shuttle. Guess we're getting off this planet until it's fixed. Yeah, on the nail there, sir! I better go out looking for a solution. Are you still getting that emergency signal? Sure am! It's me, though. Getting it barely on star... Space... I was about to say Starfleet, huh? Space Fleet Subband. The 1,000-year-old man. All right, we know what to do here. All right, first of all, it's a power coupling for the shuttle. It needs several new parts to work. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. All right, okay. We need the wire. Okay. Now, there's a hatch here that needs a power switch, I think. Yes. Okay, the panel is missing a cable. That's what I've got. Put it there, right? Yeah. Okay, the tower ladder. I need to uh, do something with this, I think. I need to move that up, yep. Get some solar power. Ah, damn. The panel will not stay up by itself. I need to find something to tie it up with. I think I, I need I need to take one of these wires. All right, I take the one from the ladder. I think now. Ah, oh, damn. All right. I take this one. All right, toy wire there. Ah, fine. There. Now we use the panel. And we switch the wire to the door. And that's all she wrote. Hey, what's this? It's basically a flag, but it's of old design. Hello, it's a different person. But it's still the meat freezer. It looks somewhat like a Space Fleet Engineer uniform. Must be an old version. Ah, let's see what we can do here. Uh, oh, a note. <clears throat> right, my name is Glacius. Glacius? Glacius, though. Know. I was an engineer on Space Fleet cargo vessel Bulkadus. When we were attacked, I managed to escape. I feel my cameras weren't so lucky. I modified a meat freezer to work as a cryo chamber. I'll use it and wait for rescue. It shouldn't take too long. I miss my loved ones. The thought of seeing them again is what keeps me going. If more than 50 years have passed, please don't bother to defrost me. Yeah, I can't do that here. Meat freezer, let's have a look at this thing. 
It's a big kitchen meat freezer. There's a human inside, though. And someone has modified the freezer display an EKG monitor. He's still alive, though. What's in the drawer? It's a drawer. It could be filled with dreams, as far as I know. Okay, we've got a pill and a chip servo. Ah, oh, suicide pill. Small capsule filled with cyanide. Standard equipment. Okay, and a chip servo. Ah, the power coupling. That's what I need. Can I repair it as it is then? I'll revive the guy, of course, but uh, I can't remember. It's been a while. I'll see if I can repair it myself. Uh, I need the inventory. Chip. If I'm going to use anything with this, I should pick it up first. Hey, oh, right, okay. It's still sizzling hot. I better wait. Damn. All right, let's see if we can revive the guy and not get ourselves trapped at the same time. If I remember correctly, he was not particularly pleased when he found out he was here for a thousand years. I've read about these computers in school. It's an old MEFMES system. They are not that common anymore. Not after what happened to that poor little kid. Uh, anything else here? I don't think so. Alright, let's use a computer. Ah. Oh, wait, hang on. It was on the note, wasn't it? Uh, zero four two. Ha ha ha, I just got it. Unread message. Hi man, Line Town OC. I heard you're on a mission to Alderaan. How are you? Still messing around with that elder girl? Let's keep in touch. Ooh, that's, that was a long time ago. Since hearing about the attack on your ship three weeks ago, I have been devastated. But now they tell me that the log recorded your escape and destruction in the pod. That's such good news. If you are getting there but can't respond, just know we are coming to get you. I don't know if you'll get this, but I'll still try anyway. I heard about the accident and that you got lost somehow. I just volunteered to assist the search for you, so nothing can stop us now from finding you. See you soon. They couldn't locate the destination of your pod. After weeks of probing, they still can't explain where you went. I'm sure you are still out there. I can feel it. Don't give up, love. Never give up. For John. John here. Mom couldn't write what I'm about to, so here it goes. They gave up the search for you yesterday. You are officially dead, Dad. I miss you. This reminds me of the old times. You're not getting a chance to respond to my rambles. Not knowing whether you are dead or alive at this moment is tearing me apart. Sixteen months now. Feels like a lifetime. I have to move on now. I need to focus on what's here. I am sorry. I am so sorry. By my love, forever yours. This will be the last message I sent to you, Dad. It's been seven years now since you went missing. Ah, Mom passed away the summer after some terrible years of illness. If you are out there, I hope you are not in pain. Love you. Oh dear. Eww. Yes. Reset system. Cannot reset system. Closed freezer. To reset the system, you need to open the freezer. Ooh, I've got to be quick here, have I? Hang on a minute. Start process. What process? Freezer content unknown. Possible chicken. No, don't start process. You all know that that would be a big error. Just open it. Oh, something dropped. Uh, where? Use the computer. Reset system. Are you sure? Yes, please. Thank you. All done. What is this? He dropped something. Fuel canister. And a flux deductor. Okay, now we'll talk to him. What time is it? Have I overslept? Are you sure? I'm in a heap of trouble now. You better hurry. Nope. 
but your snoring kept waking the baby. What? I am Governor Manamanamara, the superior ruler of the afterlife. You just woke up from a cryo chamber. That's a bit more... better. Hold on. I remember now. My name is Glacies. I'm a space fleet sergeant. My ship crashed and I couldn't get off this planet. I had supplies for two weeks and this planet is a desert doornail. I froze myself and hoped to get rescued later. Are you here to save me? I have a ship nearby but I need help with repairs. Ooh. <coughs> Maybe your clothes indicate you are an engineer. Perhaps you can help me. I was assigned to the Bullicidus as a junior enge engineer 1E. Great, I have a shuttle outside that broke on landing. Cheer up, lad. You're on your way home. I guess so. How long have I been sleeping? Uh, ah. Ah. I'm gonna have to lie. That's amazing. Feels longer somehow. Let's go and repair my ship and get out of here. Sure. Just want to do my morning exercises and check my messages first. Ordinarily I wouldn't lie, but if I remember correctly, it didn't go so well when I told him the truth. I've already wiped the computer. You can take a look. Log in. Open messages. No messages. Alright, let's put those repair skills of yours to good use. Alright, I picked up stuff. Okay, let's pick up this coupling. Oh, he's doing it. Okay. Ah, oh, how do you do that? He managed to repair it all the way over here. Should be good to go. Alright, good job, Sergeant. Let's go. Eh, what? Where's he going? What? Ooh, error. Error in the game. Whoopsies. That's not where the shuttle is. Congratulations, you reached a new ending. You lied to Glacius and he repaired the shuttle for you. He has also joined your crew in hope to find his family. Ugh. I'll explain to him later. I mean, it's better than the alternative, I suppose. Alright, I found one bug. I'm sure he's going to be very annoyed when I show him that. <laughs> right, to the cockpit. Star map. Let's have a look here. We've got some. We've got two other planets here, but I don't think there's anything I can do here for them. Let's get some more fuel. Oh, no, I don't. I don't need to. But I am curious to see what is here, so let's go. Right. Canvas City. Ah, an actual place. Contact. Huh. That's unusual. Alright, let's go. Huh, oh, apparently there's no one here. Well, I don't really need any fuel then, I suppose. Ugh. Return the ship. Oh, I reached a new ending. Lopa, Ippos, and Al. That shit you don't know what you do. What? Eh? What's this? Found spade in a motorcycle? I'm a little bit confused, but okay. Um. How do I. How do I get out of this? Oh, nuts. I think I broke the game. Oh. Okay, I think I may have to start this up again. Excuse me, please, for a moment. Okay, guys, unfortunately, as I'm all the way now back to the beginning, which is uh, slightly annoying, it doesn't really matter, I think I've completed pretty much the game, with the exception of a few strange issues here and there, so let's just go straight to the demo goal. Right. 
ship. We have finally reached the anomaly. Get in fast! Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but something seems to have changed. What do you mean? I am detecting a much, much larger source of energy from the anomaly now. I'm not sure that it is safe to enter it now. But we have to try. I have to get back home. End of demo. We hope you enjoyed the small demo of The Captain. Remember that each mission has multiple endings, so why not take it for another spin? I did, but it didn't quite go as I expected, but I'm going to have another look at a couple of other players as well and see what happens there. I hope you enjoyed this game as well. If you did like it, the link for it is below. It's also on Kickstarter as well, I believe, so show your support, because I certainly will. Thank you very much for joining me for The Captain, and when the full version comes out, I am so looking forward to playing this from start to finish. There's a good story, it, the game mechanics overall are great. All I can suggest is replacing days with hours. Because I, I just feel like I'm spending several months mining. I feel like I'm, I shouldn't be doing that, like I'm wasting time. But apart from that, it was great. I'll see you soon. Keep playing.